Noah Polipsky leads an unusual life. By day, he's a coach and amateur golfer who almost qualified for this year's US Open. By night, he's a stagehand working on Jersey Boys on Broadway. It's led him to developing a unique mental approach to the game called peaceful golf. And we went along to his home course at Van Cortlandt Park in New York to find out more. I was training myself through uh, tech through mechanical golf, basically learning different mechanics and different uh, theories about golf through different instructors. And I finally reached a point where I was getting good. I was right around scratch, but I felt like I wasn't maximizing my potential. And I couldn't understand why I was doing picture, picture perfect moves on film, but they weren't resulting in scores or control for that matter. And I had, a, I had an epiphany. My epiphany was, what would happen if I didn't swing the club with an idea or technique guiding my swing? And it was at that moment when I asked that question to myself that I realized I didn't have the answer. But I knew that if I took the next swing without an idea or belief guiding me, I'd find out. And that very first swing I took, the ball went 300 yards dead straight and I was in shock. Most of the time golfers have their minds going 100 miles an hour. They're thinking about the slope, the uphill, the wind. They have so much going on, they're not receptive to receiving all that the golf course has to show you. My mind is a complete state of quietness at this moment. And in that state of quietness is where creativity comes from. So I allow the mind to go still, and then I'll walk into the shot. It might be a hole in one. The average golfer generally has had a few lessons, so he has a few ideas in his head that someone's giving him. If he hasn't had lessons, then he's totally concocted his own ideas about how to do it, just as I had done as well. What peaceful golf does is it shows you the limitations that you're putting, your, putting on yourself through using your mind. Thinking is great for building things like computers and cars and building things, but when it comes to a golf swing, it's more of a motor skill, just like walking, riding a bicycle. These are all things that have, are done without thought, that are done subconsciously. So I try to teach each player how to access that subconscious mind, and then that accesses the swing. I had to uncondition my mind to get out of all those mechanics that I had taught myself to look very rigid. I no longer look rigid. I feel fluid, and it looks fluid. Amongst Noah's diverse group of students is Broadway actor Preston Boyd. Preston played golf from a young age and also reached a similar level of frustration with his game. By embracing peaceful golf, he's experienced Noah's unique teaching methods at first hand. Noah, as a teacher, is uh, very open to um, you know anything um, failing and succeeding. I think um, because you know you you play golf and in. in, in um, you know, I, whenever I would come to the course, I would have a thought of shooting a low round and everything. But uh, you know, Noah, Noah showed me that there's so much more to the course than than just what's on the scorecard. You know, um, I come into the course now um, excited to be underneath a tree and have to put it, you know, four feet from the cup to make your par save. You know, it's 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 a whole it's a whole new way of playing golf for me now, and it's much more exciting, much more rewarding, and and much less frustrating as well. Preston had another great shot. We'll play golf with other friends who have not really experienced the peaceful golf um, aspects of the game now for us. And you know, you see them step up to the drive, and they they see this tight fairway, and that you can just you know you can see the nerves, and it's just not it's not an enjoyable way to play golf. Um, and uh, since we've been playing this way, it's just uh, yeah, I, I don't leave I don't leave and walk out into the parking lot and you know want to go buy a new set of clubs because I'm blaming a horrible round on my irons where you know I was. You know, pushing my irons all day. You know, it's you can think of a million excuses, and and really all it is is what it's what's between the ears. You know, there's no alignment. I just feel total confidence over the putt, and I stroke the putt. Confidence is the key. Only a mind that is free has confidence. A mind that is controlling and thinking about how far and how far to push through. You have you have limited ability playing that way. You know, we've written a book now that's due to be published very shortly. We're working on creating some videos for YouTube. We are trying to create a presence out there so people can 
can challenge themselves and learn something they might not have known before. You know, the whole thing about freedom is when I ask people the question, what is freedom to you? Most people immediately say, it's the ability of, for me to choose what I want. Well, to me, I see that's not freedom. I say the moment you choose something, you've actually now limited your ability to be free. You're going in that direction as opposed to seeing all the possibilities. So I just want to basically question people and have them maybe think about something they've never even approached, have been approached with or thought about before. And just from my own experience, the more I challenge people and I challenge myself, self, the more peaceful golf grows. It's just, it just keeps growing the more I talk about it. That's a perfect drive right down the middle on one of the tightest holes on the course.